That was a that was a good bump. That was a good little bump. Well, welcome back to Real Talk with SLR friends. Utah edition. Yeah, in the car. It's snowing. It's like a mini blizzard going on right now. I'm gonna yep. pop up the chat really quick so I can see everybody. And welcome uh, everybody. It Woo. is absolutely gorgeous out here. It is. It is very, very beautiful out here today. I can't see the chat. Somebody say something so I can see if it's working. I'm using the mobile, obviously. Let me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's gone or what. Hey, go home. Where'd it go? It went bye-bye. Maybe nobody said anything yet. We're just going to wait. <laughs> We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. So I hope everybody's doing a, having a good day. Yeah. And if you guys are in the Utah area and getting some snow. we're with you yeah <laughs> it's snowing outside it's all grady hey guys yep okay i'm starting to see the chat now good morning kent neely good morning good morning oh, stop sign. firefly hello good morning uh kim neilan uh hmm? kim nilligan hello good morning linda good morning joan good morning uh Derdam, good morning. I'm here. Stewie, morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Elise. Mary, it's all Grady. How's the trip? Sandy S., uh, the trip is going out great, actually. Um, yes. Let me give you, I don't know if I push this button if you guys can see what I see, but I'm going to show you guys outside really quick. If it works. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's snowing. It's snowing, snowing. There's lots of snow. I got I tell you, I'm super happy yeah. we have snow-rated tires. Yeah, we got snow-rated <laughs> tires. It's currently snowing right now. Um, <clears throat> we're cruising around. We're in Utah. We're actually going snowboarding today. We're all in our snowboarding attire. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a fun day. I'm going to pop you guys this right here so that way it'll be a little, little bumpy. Mind my hand for a second. I got to put you guys in the, the front windshield thing. That way, it, hopefully, it'll be a little less bumpy for y'all. Hopefully. Spirit fingers. Spirit it might, fingers. You might still have a little, little shake here and there. It's a little right. shaky, shaky. It's all right. Trip's going great, though, guys. Um, I gotta be honest. I haven't really recorded much the last two days. The first day, we got in with Gary's Fam Bam, and it was like, you know, it was a big reunion. It, and it feels so good. Mm-hmm. And, uh... It was, it was a lot of that. It was a lot of that, and it was great. And then yesterday, we spent... I did record a little bit yesterday. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. No. Because we were pew-pewing a lot. <laughs> it was a, a lot of fun. That's one thing that Gary's that's, family's pretty big on. And that's a big so tradition. I'm going to hold your phone so I can read the comments. Big, now they're far away. Yeah. That's a big, big tradition, you know, that me and my brother definitely have. And it's been so good hanging out with my big brother. Like, it's... I'm so happy. And yeah. then also my sisters and everything else too. Like Yeah, we got to see your, we haven't, uh, we, your oldest sister the My first oldest night. sister, yeah. And then we've had time with your younger sister both days and she's yep. coming out today too. But the older sister has to work, so yep. we've only had a little bit of time with her. But we've had her kids yep. like the whole time. So it's great. It's been super awesome. Yeah. And it's been crazy because all of the kids have grown so much to where it's like, what in the world? Like Mm -hmm. Last time I seen you, you were so big, like wee little big they're ones, you know. Babies. And like now they're like, they're like bean sprouts or whatever. Yeah. And they they shot up there, and it's like, oh my goodness. They sure did. It's only been five years, but they ain't like. I know. Well, last time, um, you know, the kids that are about Abe's age, they were toddlers, mm -hmm. you know. And then there's a cup, there's a couple that weren't even born yet. Uh, so yeah, so we're meeting new nieces and nephews. We're getting there's to see them. There's a few that were only like two years old, two, one, you well, know. Well, and that's what they're, I'm saying. They're they're like, you know. Now they're a lot older, and it's just like, oh my goodness. Some of them don't even remember us, and yeah. obviously a couple we have to meet. We've met this time, and yeah. and then the others, right, that are around Julia's age and stuff. Man, they're all teenagers now. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. We're all getting old. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But it's been great. It's been wonderful uh, being able to spend some much needed quality time with Gary's fam bam. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I haven't been doing a whole bunch of recording. I will see what I could do as far as bringing y'all along. Um, but, you know, some are not wanting to be on the channel and we respect them for that. But we love them and we're having a great time with them. Yep. Uh, but I will bring you guys along as much as possible. It might be more of a show and tell type of thing yep. uh, where we kind of talk 
about yeah. our trip and maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of b-roll of things and that but um, I know that you guys understand and my family is yeah. a little bit more private. yes so. and that's okay and, and that's, that's totally okay partly why we haven't really seen a whole lot of them you know what I mean <laughs> and why we don't really talk about them too much because we respect them and we you know it's one of those so yeah it's uh but I'm so happy like smiling from ear to ear yes seeing all my family and all yes. of them but you know and all the little ones and it just i don't know gets me a little watery eyed sometimes <laughs> thinking about it and talking about it it's you, like, know man. you know it's crazy too is like um <clears throat> as the kids are all getting older and you know you can see the family resemblance in them and you can see who looks like who and uh it's it's crazy <laughs> to see the similarities and the differences especially as they're getting older right because all a lot of the kids are growing out of their baby faces mm -hmm. and they're getting their more grown-up faces and um yeah. You know, because a lot of times, like our, you know, we, we see our kids every day, and I see certain family traits and stuff, but then when you get all of the cousins together, so, then it wow. really, like, pops out. You're like, whoa, you know. So it's pretty crazy. It is. Uh, it is. But it's been such a good time. It is. And it's all Grady. Good morning, everyone. Welcome in. Uh, give some love and hit that thumb. Thank you, yes. Denise and Marcel. Love you guys. I hope you guys are staying warm. What's it like in Arkansas right now? Is it, uh, I was talking to David, come on, uh, yesterday, and he's all, yeah, it's gorgeous out here, birds are chirping, it's like 68, I'm all, um, oh, I rub it in. <laughs> but we're enjoying the I'm snow. I'm enjoying yeah, this. Yeah, we're like, enjoying it. It's cold, I'm though. so happy that it snowed, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's starting to die down a little bit, but it's probably most likely going to be snowing up in the mountain that uh, we're going to and everything, so. Yeah. It's going to be great. I, I don't, the kids have never been snowboarding either. Yeah, they haven't been. We haven't really taken them to like a mountain to go play in the snow. Like, well, uh, they've been like, on, on our mountain. Well, yeah, but you know? that's what I'm saying. Like, we used to like when we lived in Vegas, we'd go up to like Mount Charleston with yeah. the kids, right? Well, especially like Patrick and Brittany and Kylie, mm -hmm. we did it with them a lot because yeah. uh, we had them all the time, and. Um, we were, we were younger. younger. Yeah. <laughs> we were younger. <laughs> we, were, we said it like in sync. <laughs> we were younger. Uh, but I'm still having my coffee. It's um, it's actually almost nine o'clock here yeah. in Utah right one now. One minute, and then yeah, one minute. Do you guys want to pop your heads in and say good morning real quick? You can just pop in and pop out. Julia's playing a snake game on her phone. Scarlett's passed out right next to Abe. Abe, they could see you. Do you want to say good morning? <laughs> it's early. We we've been having very late nights. Yeah. Um, I'm fine with that. Yeah, Julia, I'm fine with that. So the first night that we went over to uh, Gary's <sighs> brothers and visited, like, we didn't get back to our hotel until four o'clock in the morning. It was more like four thirty, but okay. Well, yeah. four thirty. It was morning. it was late. <laughs> it, or, or early. Or early. Yeah. However you want to say it, right? Yeah. So and then we slept for a little bit, and then we were back over at their house again at like. <laughs> 11 or like, noon i think it was like 12 something like that you right know something there. like that but it's yeah. been kind of a blur but it's been so good guys it's, it's been, been great so good it's been great uh diana pickering gary's family is private and respectful of that is wonderful thank you diana we appreciate yes. you um understanding and like it's not that they don't want to be necessarily but they kind of don't want to be <laughs> it's kind of i think that um you know they'll say hi but that's yeah. probably gonna be it it'll be like a quick hi I'm the brother and then that's it <laughs> or like hi I'm the sister and like that's it oh. we'll see and I, oh. I I don't know but we, a, we're super respectful of it, and I'm not pushing it it's not a I'm I'm gonna try to elbow my brother and be like hey, you should do a YouTube thing just <laughs> saying elbow him a little <laughs> yeah you guys I think that super, you guys would like you would love Curtis. I, I think you guys would love um, that aspect because he is super outdoorsy yeah he is he, he is. Uh, it's my big brother. Like he, uh, you know, that was fond, fond and, memories. And then it'd be cool for us to be able to like see him all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's pluses. All but... the different snowboarding that we would do, you know, yeah. paintballing, uh, you know, rock climbing, biking, 
skateboarding, yeah. <laughs> fishing. Uh. Tundra Jason is in here. What's up, Tundra? We're coming to you next, on? brother. We're coming to you next. Mm -hmm. Well, not next, next, but next. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be one of our next stops. <laughs> So yeah, the main reason, if you guys didn't know, um, yes, we're out here to visit Gary's family, get that quality time in, which is so needed. We haven't seen them in so long, and yes. this is really good for our soul. Mm -hmm. Good to rejuve us, get us back on track for when we go home, and keep us focused, and our love cups be overfloweth, right? Correct. Correct. Um, but also, Tundra Jason is getting married. So that's the main, that was the main push and drive for us to come out, because it was like, okay, a date has been set. We need to get our butts to the West Coast. Um, and Make Jason, arrangements and plans. Yeah, and get it all done. So Jason's actually getting married on um, Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday is the big day. You getting nervous yet, bud? Yeah, you getting nervous yet, buddy? Forever. <laughs> Half. <laughs> Half. <laughs> oh, man. The mountain with Gary's um, brother and, like, oh. brother-in-law and uh, sister-in-law and kiddos and all that stuff. But our very uh, long, long friend is going to be joining us out there today as well. Yep. Now, you've known Aaron since you were like 10. Yeah. Like 9, 10, right around there, yeah. Yeah, long time friend. That was, the, that was one of our first friends that we made uh, when we moved to Vegas. Yeah, that, was, uh, that was a long, long time ago. Yeah. Long, long time ago. But this is, it's so funny too because like uh, Aaron's. Uh, parents and or Aaron's dad you know who would take us out to Brian Head and go snowboarding as a uh, a group and everything like that yep. so it's a it's one of those things like it just it's all coming full circle in a sense having Aaron go out there and everything with us it's like dude this is gonna be super fun it's gonna be so fun I, we fun. haven't seen Aaron since we left um and moved since no. since we moved so that was 2021 the beginning of 2021 something like that so it's been several years um and aaron he's been a friend you know ever as long as i've known gary i've known aaron so yeah. aaron's been a very good friend of mine too for all these years and um you know he's like family as well just like tundra tundra is like our brother from another mother mm -hmm. well aaron is also our brother from another mother go yeah. way back way back <laughs> um, sheila tab so your family didn't let you stay with them no they they would have like yeah. but we have a horde of kids. They have a horde of kids, and my sister is also staying there with her horde of kids and everything. And it's, it's already a full house. Yeah. So, so I was like, ah, I don't want to. I don't want to create another. It wasn't that they wouldn't headache. let us. It's that we didn't want. We didn't to. want to. I was like, yeah. Yeah. There's too much. I don't and want that on you guys. Like, <laughs> there's nothing like getting a real bed to sleep in, and, and then like too. taking having a shower to you know like. You're not imposing on anyone, you know? Yeah. And I know that it's not an imposition, per se. No, he it's, would. They would be more they than happy. More than happy and willing. Yeah. It's just there's a lot of... So there's already nine people that live in that house full-time anyway. Like, yeah. there's nine people that are always residents there. Yeah. But then you add in uh, the sister and the four kids from the sister. That's, a, that's another five. And then we're five. Yeah. And then the other sister and then her, her four. four. So it's like that's it adds up. It adds up quick. really fast. We're having like 35, 40 people in the house. You don't you don't want to, and they have a good size house too. It's Which a beautiful home. They could. They could. Like we said, all fit, but, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be able to have a hotel room to like retreat to yeah. too. You know, and like it wasn't, when you're ready for the noise and stuff. It wasn't too bad, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but it's um it's it's we were, it's wonderful and um. Like the first night, we might as well have just stayed the night. Yeah. We were there until four. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we might as well have just slept over. I mean, Scarlett did. If you, she did. I mean, she fell asleep on the couch. She, she fell asleep. We got to the hotel and like, dude, she woke up at like seven. Like we were only there for like three hours and she's already up on her tablet. I woke up. I was like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. She's like, I'm awake. Stewie like, yeah. says, it's not the amount of time you spend with the family, but the quality of time you have to spend with them. Correct. Yeah, and we've really been spending a lot of that good quality time. Yep. Um, after we go snowboarding today, I believe we're planning like board game night. That's what I was talking with Ann about. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, I got these games. And um, they have a lot of really like like crowd games that are really good for like large groups. Gonna be so good it to, should it's going to be good to see those games because I've been looking. Yeah. I've been looking. It's hard to find like big. 
group like, games. Group games. Group more games. than four. Yeah. Right? Everything's all four, like, player in a sense. Where it's like, man, we have a family of five. Like, yeah. <laughs> they always make things for families of four nowadays. It used to be standard, like... Six or eight. Fam- like, well, standard used to be a family of five, right? Like, whenever, like, you'd watch The Price is Right and they'd win, like, tickets and stuff, it would always be like, a family of five tickets, da-da-da-da. And then it became a family of four. And yeah. now it's, like, couples. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. but, it is what it is it was like the standard like tv show too it would have like 2.1 kids which means two bigger kids and a baby yeah. you know that was like the standard but anyway brooke burke says um mel it was 43 this morning but it's supposed to get to 76 this afternoon gorgeous weather i bet you things are popping already we're gonna come home and it's gonna be all bloomed <laughs> everything's gonna be all bloomed we'll see Man. Um, Melissa wants to know, are they going to come visit the 41.36? Oh, yes. Someday. someday, Sometime. I've actually been talking um, with Ann, and she's thinking that next year might be better. They have a, you know, they got younger kids and stuff, and their mm. youngest doesn't travel very well in a car for long periods of time. Yeah. Tummy sick, ears hurting, um, whining and sniveling and kicking the back of the seat. So it's not enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> and flying with that many people is very pricey. Yeah. So they're thinking possibly next year would be a better time. Although I'm also talking with Gary's brother, with Ann, with his brother's wife. I've been like, hey, well, why don't you just send Curtis this fall? Yep. by himself and then Gary and Curtis can go hunting and stuff because again Curtis is super into the outdoors um, loves all that stuff and it would be much easier for them just to send him even if it's just for like a quick like, long weekend Yeah, you know what I mean so that is a possibility uh, but the whole fam bam probably not until next year at least that branch of the tree yeah. and I was talking with your sister and your sister might come up this um, summer Heck yeah. so we ha- I'm <laughs> I'm the planner of the family, <laughs> if you guys can't tell. She is. I am. She I'm, is. I'm, the I'm the cattle prod. I'm the one that kind of like, me and Anne, we kind of like whip everybody and keep everybody in line and keep in touch and stuff, right? So, um, but I'm, I'm working it out. I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get it together for your fam bam. So, trying to. Trying to make it all happen. Everybody say uh, congratulations to Tundra Jason for his upcoming nuptials. Oh, I was supposed to get over on that one. Uh-oh. It's all right. Make a U-turn. I'll make a U-turn. It's... It's wet outside with snow and everything. Oh wait, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to. That's a solid white line. Yeah, you don't want to do that. All right. Um, uh, Karen Herky. Hey, Karen. Good to see you in here, sweetheart. She says, hey, "Well, hey. I love your shirt. I have the same one, girl. Heck yeah, it's a cute one. I got it from um, Walmart, and I thought it was adorable. It's kind of like '70s retro vibe or whatever. But everybody needs Jesus, right? Y'all need Jesus. I need Jesus. The world needs Jesus. It's a good shirt." <laughs> yeah. Mama. Yes, son. I'm you're sweaty. You're sweaty. Don't worry, you're gonna be freezing here soon. Uh, huh. True story. We're all wearing like two pairs of long johns, like two oh pairs God. of socks, and like our big hoodies. You can and take stuff. off your jacket, son. Yeah. You can take off your jacket too, buddy. Um, you don't need your jacket on. <laughs> O'Rourke says, have a great visit, guys. I want some scenery video. Girl, here, I'll turn it off on my face, and you guys can get some scenery. It's... Can you? What is that three one? Huh? The the three, three that's a filter. I'm not, oh. I don't usually filter our videos. You guys I get to see know. our faces as they are. <laughs> that's just I... how it goes. Sorry. <laughs> here, this is where we are currently. Oh, what did that do? That didn't do it. There you go. There you go. This is where we are. This is some scenery of what we're looking at. Unfortunately, guys, for the live streams, I can't do the picture in picture. It won't let me. I tried. It just said no. You get to do one or the other. Yes, sunshine. While we're at a stoplight, now is the time to do it. Do yes. It right now, do it buddy. quick. Do it quick. Um, let me see. Lila Newton, what's up? What's up? Do me a favor when you see Jason kiss his tundra for me. Laugh out loud. Or his pup, rather. My pup. Oh, tund- the tundra pup. I thought you were talking about go out and kiss his truck. I was like, eh? <laughs> what is his pup? Sure. You got that thing off yet? Come on. Come on. Hey, back in your seatbelt. Yep, back in your belt, bud. Back in your belt. Um, let's see. Um, Amos Johnson, are you in Utah? Yes, we are in Utah. We are in the um, Salt Lake 
it's Salt Lake City area, I guess, would be like the biggest, most known area. But it's so you can see the sign right there for Salt Lake. So we're not exactly in Salt Lake, but we're in that area. No, I'm not. You're going, you're, you're, I'm not getting on the freeway. No, you're going straight. Straight. Keep going. Straight. I'll tell you this: they got some weird roads. Yeah. I'm trying to keep in, uh, keep in line and keep in mm -hmm. order of where I'm going and. This turns here, this turns there, it goes into a single, into a double, into... I'm like, what in the world is going on? Yeah. Donald White, why does Abe look oh. like he just woke up? Smile, buddy. Because he did just wake up. We're all, we're all like getting uh, kind of cat naps here and cat naps there. Because we've just been coming and going so much. And yeah, we all did kind of just wake up. It's still relatively early out here. It's just a little after 9 o'clock. I'm gonna turn it back on us unless you guys want to keep looking at stoplights and cars in front of us. <laughs> That's a right now um, because it's snowing, you can't see the gorgeous 360 view of all of the mountains. But let me tell you what, I did get some beautiful shots of it, and all the way around, panoramic views, man. It's just these humongous snow-capped mountains, absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to show you guys some of that footage. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm very I'm very curious if it's going to be as uh, like white out up on the mountain no. as it is down here. From what I was reading online, it's mainly in the afternoon because I, I'm still using my weather app. Oh, okay. I'm pinpointing exactly where we are. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting pretty accurate readings or accurate information off of it. Yeah. Michigan life above the 45th. Hey. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? I busted out the nice hat. Yeah, we put on the fancy gear for I'm not, the trip. I'm not working, so <laughs> I'm like, this is my nice hat. I'm wearing this guy. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming in today. Um, Rick Greenlaw, if all goes well, I might be like Tundra later this year. Time will tell. Ooh, you mm. might be getting the wedding. Ooh. Heck yeah. Well, I hope so. I'll be praying for you, Rick. And, uh, I'll just say a preemptive congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, Amos, are you in Provo? Uh, we're very close to it. Very, very close very to close. Provo. Very, very close to Provo. Actually, we might be spending some time in Provo uh, later on before we go to Las Vegas to do some stuff. No. We don't want to, so we don't want to give like a an exact, exact itinerary. like itinerary. Yeah, itinerary just for safety reasons. We do have our kids with us. I'm sure you guys understand. Um, and if you don't, just think a little harder about that. Yeah. Yeah. So we like to keep you guys updated and let you guys know what's going on and like what we're doing and stuff. But we don't want to like give y'all a an exact uh, in turn by real, turn directions. Yeah, and... turn by turn and in real time of everything, just for our own safety. You know, like the internet's a weird thing. And as much as there is people that are super kind and generous and love us, like all y'all folks, there's also very strange folks out in the world as well. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Got to be smarter than the average bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Melissa, I stayed in a town south of Salt Lake. It sure is pretty. It's gorgeous out here, guys. Yes. It's gorgeous. Um, I. I do love it. I love visiting here. Yeah. However, I would I don't think I would be happy living here personally, but it is gorgeous and I can't wait to come visit it again and I can see the appeal why some people would love to live here. Very outdoorsy. Yeah. Extremely outdoorsy. Right. I think for like, me, I think for me mostly it's just it's still the desert and I've had my fill of the desert. <laughs> But this is high desert, and it's different than, like, say, where we lived in Arizona. There are more trees out here. There is that huge lake. Um, you know, there's these mountains, and these out there's a lot of outdoor activities. I just, I'm very happy with where we are in Arkansas. I'm yeah. very, very happy with where we are over in the south. Um, just, there's so many things about living in the south that I absolutely love. And mm -hmm. um, I would be missing. I would... I would really be missing. Oh, I'm going to turn this around because we're starting to go into the mountains and it's starting to get a little different. We're not in the city, city part anymore. There you go. Look, I don't know if you guys could see it, but right there, that's a huge mountain and it's kind of... It's, uh, it's covered by a, a big cloud. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see the peak. All right. 
All right, Ridge Life, that's a cloud, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Ridge Life knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Fog? Cloud? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's actually, that ain't a cloud, that's snow. <laughs> yeah. Michigan Life above the 40, 45th, that's a fantastic hat, Gary. Absolutely yes. is. Absolutely is. Uh, Lori Larkin, di I dislike city driving, same. Yeah. Same. Which I'm, I'm liking the route that, uh, you know, Google's taking me on because I could be on the freeway right now, which mm -hmm. I'd, I'd rather not be. This is a nicer scenic drive, you know? Yeah. And Junk to Gems is in here. What's going on? Gumby and Mary, good to see you guys this morning. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and now you can't see really hardly anything. Yeah, that was your view. Sorry, guys. I'm going to turn it back around. Uh, I will, as long as we have service, um, we're going to stay live for a bit just because we're not really doing much yeah, else. That's a but, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Go slow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to actually be live twice today. We're live now. Um, main reason is honestly, we didn't do a real talk yesterday because yesterday we were slow moving in the morning after having such a late night. And then we were hanging with the fam bam, like, and we were coming and going. We went out and did the pew pewing and stuff, and it just wasn't a good timing to do real talk. So, Gary asked me this morning. Gary actually brought it up. He's like, "Hey, Mel, you want to go live on real talk this morning?" I'm like, "Sure." I miss the folks. Yeah, yeah. I miss the folks. And then uh, we are gonna go live on um, Simple Life tonight too. Yeah. So you guys are gonna get us twice. If y'all are bored and ain't got nothing to do. Hey, hey. 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 Um, let me see. I'm jumping back into these comments here. Uh, McAllister, always stay safe with kids. Yes. Yes. We're doing our best. That's why I always try to plan ahead. Yep. I have chains in the vehicle, and I'm glad that I do because <laughs> we might need them. <laughs> I don't think he's talking just about the driving. I think he's talking about internet safety as well. That too. Yes. Yeah. Um, the dog catcher. What's going on? going on sir good to have you in here um are are you guys going to las vegas yes that is where tundra jason will be getting married mm -hmm. and actually we used to live in las vegas so it's kind of like old stomping grounds there's a couple of friends that we're gonna try to see while we're there yep. um, we're gonna be staying with one of our friends at their house for two days just so that way we could get some good visiting time in mm -hmm. but then we're also going to be getting a hotel room while we're in las vegas so that way we're not wearing out our welcome and again, so Gary and I have a a place to retreat to. Yeah. Like, uh, we as much as we love our friends and our family, Gary and I do also like having our own space. Yeah. You know, to kind of when we're done. When we're done, when we we're done. Recoup and relax. That's, a, that's always nice. Yeah. <laughs> and again, also like the shower thing. Like, I don't mind showering at other people's like houses and stuff, but when five people gotta go in and out and in and out and in and out and shower and everything like i don't know i don't like hogging up people's bathrooms for that yeah. long and i don't know yeah i'm kind of weird about that that's a that's a bell <laughs> thing i'm kind of weird about like i'd rather shower in like the hotel room than like other people's showers is that i'm weird i know i'm weird so, it is what it is it's understandable it is. Just, it's understandable i think i'm weird about some stuff there's some stuff that i'm I, I like my own personal. Why are you weirder than me, baby? I don't like popcorn. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> okay. I'm weirder than you, mom. I don't like popcorn. <laughs> I'm like, okay. It's not. It's not actually that weird, Julia. On that one, a lot of people don't like eating it because it gets stuck in their teeth. Yeah, it does. It gets stuck in their teeth. Oh. My taste. Yeah. Lila Newton, a double portion of SLR. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Lori Ebel, love you guys. You are awesome from Ontario, Canada. Hey, 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 all the way from Canada. So, all you guys have a lot more snow than out here, that's for sure. Yeah, we're, <laughs> what we're dealing with, you're like, oh, some flurries, eh? <laughs> we're like, I'm cold. <laughs> uh, um, Abe doesn't like popcorn. No, Abe, Abe, you like popcorn. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was Julia. Yeah, it was Julia that doesn't like popcorn. I was wondering what and that was Scarlet's over there. Scarlet's passed out. Yeah, yeah. Scarlet's... Poor baby. All high Scarlet's out cold, man. She is. Poor baby. That, Ju that Scarlet loves her sleep, man. She does. And you know what? Scarlet was being such a good little um, 
mini mom yesterday. When we went out pew pewing, Abe went, uh, Julia went, a couple of our nephews went, Gary's sister, Gary's brother, and that was it, right? Yeah. So we all went and had a great time. So Scarlett didn't want to go because she's not super, she'll do the pew pewing. She does enjoy it sometimes when she's in the mood for it. Um, but she wasn't in the mood for it. She didn't enjoy it. So she's she like, wanted. Nah, I want to go play with the cousins. Right. So she <laughs> stayed at uh, Gary's brother's house with um, my sister, with Auntie Anne, my sister-in-law, and um, she was helping Anne so much. She was like asking Anne, like, "Can I help you clean up this room? Can I do this for you?" And she was just like, uh, Anne was telling me that Scarlett was being just like a little a mini mom. And like, there's a couple of babies that are there too. And Scarlett was like feeding the babas and like, yeah. you know, doing all that. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> so that made me happy. But she's tuckered out today. In other words, yeah. she's tuckered out she's, from. She's like, oh. Yeah. Well, Jay, sleep it up. Sleep it up. Get some rest, cause. Yeah, we're gonna be falling we're a lot gonna today. Be, we're gonna be having a lot of uh, energy exerting. <laughs> mm. Um. Let me see trying to get in here and, and see your guys' comments. Wild Bumble Lee, Trenton Alley visit. They live there. We don't know Trenton Alley personally. I've, ne I've never spoken with them. I know who they are on YouTube because they're YouTubers. They're in like the same kind of sort of niche as us, although they're definitely a building channel, uh, which we are not. Um, so they're in the same kind of niche though and our subscribers had like told us to go check them out and so we did and they seem like super rock on folks um, but we don't know them we've never talked with them or or met them but I wouldn't be opposed to but I also would never just show up at somebody's place yeah, no. so no. <laughs> that, that's, not, that's not in the works although they do seem like I said they do seem like really awesome uh, genuine uh, good people. They mm -hmm. seem like very good people, and we'd love to meet them one day. Just haven't, yeah. just haven't, you know. We've got a a good fun-filled day or a fun-filled week. Yeah, out here that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. Michigan life above the 45th. Gonna be 68 degrees here today. Wow, up in Michigan, wow. it's warmer than Utah. Right now, it is 33 degrees outside, and it is snowing, but the snow is kind of like... It's like melting slush, right now. Slush snow. It was colder this morning, but... Mm -hmm. Man, this morning, there were like fat, fat freaking snowflakes, man. Like, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to start... Uh, this is going to get interesting. <laughs> Linda, Linda Bing says, I'm the same Mel. I like my own space. Uh, my, be home, my be home or hotel. And that's it. That's it. I love to visit with the family and we love to um, to hang out and we'll stay there until the wee hours of the night. But when I'm ready to go to sleep, I want to, um, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be in anyone's like, um, I guess like community space. Like I don't want to be taking over their living room and then like mess up their whole morning routine. And, and then I never sleep as good and yeah. You know, so. yeah. And then the showers and all that. So yeah. So let's see. But it definitely um, wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> no, no, it would not be a problem. And you know, it's weird too. Like when we have friends and family come visit us, I am, I like, I would rather they stay with us. Yeah. I would rather people come and stay at my house and like stay at my place. But I understand when people want to get their own room or whatever, because I'm that way. Yeah. Um, but like as far as people coming and staying with us, I'm like, yeah, stay with us and put out the couch. Like... You could stay, you know, in the RV or whatever. You could take over the treehouse, like mi casa, su casa, right? Yeah. Um, it's just, I'm weird about some stuff, all right? <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, Jean, are you going through snow? Please don't send it this way. I hope, I don't know. It sounds like everybody uh, east of us is having much nicer weather than what we have right now. From what I understand, because I have been keeping up on Ryan Hall y'all. Ryan Hall y'all. It's uh it is going to be coming east that way. Um so yeah, by the time that So when we go home, it's going to we're going to bring it home. We're going to be bringing it home a little bit here and there, yeah. But at the same time, it's sort of it's only it, it might be done and over with by the time we get there. Um I know that for I was talking with Tundra and that for his wedding, he's supposed to have like high 70s, low 80s or something mm -hmm. for his wedding. So it's gorgeous. You're gonna be like amazing, beautiful in Las Vegas. 
yeah. but that's still another um you know it's still more west of where we are right now and in a different state so yeah. utah def utah has way different weather than vegas does oh yeah it's this a different elevation it's high different, desert yeah itself and yeah you're it's a lot different a lot different yeah um, Melba and Donnie, hey SLR, beautiful family and friends visit. Yes. Yes. We're having a really great time. A super duper great time. And Julia actually, um, you know, didn't miss practice this week, which was great. Mm-hmm. I did, but I didn't. Well, you didn't because you still got to do some, she got to do some skeeting. So yeah. she didn't necessarily miss practice. She didn't do a full 25 rounds though. She did actually. I, of over, skeet? Over, well, over the course of it. It wasn't all of one gauge, but... She, she did, did try. 25 on ski, though? Yeah, roughly, yeah. Oh, okay. I gave her, she, um, with the 12, she did probably close to about 20. I did the impossible shot. 20 yeah. or 15. But. Oh, she did. Julia Julia did do the impossible shot. Yeah. Go ahead and tell them, baby. So there's like this bolt that was connecting the scroll. It's not a real scroll. It's like some metal. Eye bolt. Thing. <laughs> she, she shot the bolt, the eye bolt, completely off of it and everything, and bended it and like it perfectly hit it. She perfectly hit and the it perfectly fell. hit it, like, <laughs> like oh my goodness. And then I looked at Julia and I said, "Squirrel." <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah. yeah, it was. A, it was actually. A, I mean, I know you weren't meaning to do it, but that was definitely an impossible. Everybody shot. was like, Everybody "Wait, was what?" Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? What How just happened? Yeah. Yeah. And then they went and looked and the bolt was gone. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, no, Gary found it too. I found the bolt, yeah. Daddy found it. Yeah. Yep. Daddy found it. It's all bent. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Wild Bumblebee Lee, or Bumble, Bumbly Lee, I'm sorry. Tongue twister. Squirrel. Uh, second live after snowboarding can serve energy. We will. I mean, we're sitting on butts right now. We're just talking. Yeah. But yes, we will need to uh, to conserve energy. Now, I gotta figure out the time change thing. I think right now we're only an hour behind what our only an hour is. behind. We're on Mountain Standard Time. So we're planning on going live at seven o'clock Central, like normal. Yeah. So we're just gonna so that have will to be six do Mountain six Standard time. for us. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll set an alarm. <laughs> we'll probably we'll be up on the mountain most likely still. So. That. I hope we have service up there. I hope so. If not, we might have to change the time. But I don't know. Or day. Or day. Depending. So, but I'll try to get. Depending it. on the service. <laughs> if you guys don't see like the um, the live stream setup, like if you guys don't have that the thing set up to where you can push um, notify me. If you guys don't have that notify me up before. Yeah. How am I gonna do it though? Because I usually set up the live beforehand yeah and then i don't know we should have service i would think up there right i don't know it's up in the mountain i know that's where i'm like I, we should mm -hmm. i have no idea it's a lot different out here than it is out in arkansas yeah, where there's less you know trees in the way well in arkansas though still like i'm walking around our whole property i still have service on my phone yeah, but then you go down you know, to our driveway and it's... Burr, no, burr. it's dead, right? But <laughs> at the same time, though, like out here, though, like you go up into a mountain area and sometimes it's like it's great service, but then it, sometimes you're in the ravine area and because the mountains are so tall, you're you're sort of SOL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try our best. Yes. Um, Diane Wilson, more pictures, please. You want to see what we're looking at? Here, I'll turn it around for you guys. Let me see. <laughs> it's a... It's coming. It's coming. I'll I'll turn that up a little. Go a little faster for I'll him. Go. Yeah, that should do. But yeah, we're it's snowing. We're driving in it. We're trying to get up the mountain. We just got to keep going straight on this road for a while. We're gonna be turning in just a little bit. Okay. Um. So Ron Harvey, hey from Southern Central Virginia near Lynchburg, Virginia. Hope y'all enjoy your vacation to the highest. Be safe and get back home. God bless. Well, God bless you back, Ron. Yes. Thank you so Thank much you for so spending much. your your morning with us and spending some time with us. I love being out here and being on vacation. It's been very relaxing. It's something that we've honestly really needed to I do. To You're you. gonna turn left. Keep going. Uh, yep. Turn left. Keep going left around this roundabout. And on this guy, I got it. Yep. 
And there you go. There you go. Roundabouts. Yeah, roundabouts. But yeah, we're gonna we will try to do the live tonight, guys. Hopefully, we'll have the service up on the mountain and we'll be able to uh, to do the darn thing for y'all. It's super cool. I wish that I was able to do picture in picture on a live stream. I don't know why it won't let me, but like when in YouTube studio there's like only front camera and back camera options when you're live streaming you can't choose the camera that you want your phone to use there might be some like back end stuff if I down if I downloaded like a stream yards or something to my phone before I streamed but I don't have any of that installed I was just using the YouTube app itself to, to stream so maybe I'll look into that in the future but for day for today this is just how it's gonna be um, have you seen any moose? No, no moose. Um, I don't think that there is any moose out here in Utah. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't think we but I don't, know enough. I believe that there is no moose up here. I want to say that there's elk and uh, uh, caribou, I want to say, or antelope or whatever. Yeah. Antelope, I think it is. It might be caribou. I don't know. There's a... Uh, there's a few good animals out here, that's for sure. A lot of deer and whatnot. But. Look at those big old snowflakes, guys. They're huge. Giant snowflakes. Uh, Tim Piles, what's up, Sister Mel, Gary, and kids? Thank you for bringing us along. Yeah. You're very welcome. You guys get to travel with us. Mm-hmm. Traveling around. It's pretty fun. This is a pretty little town. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know what it is either, but it's cute. We've got some cute uh, buildings and... Uh, like Draper? Um, I think it's Dra Draper. Yeah, I think we're in Draper. I just seen a sign that said Draper Academy, so I think we're in Draper. But it's cute. It's got little cute cute little buildings. Um, it does obviously have some trees around, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, little cottages, Julia says, yep. And obviously it has um, the seasons, which is what I really appreciate most about living in Arkansas. Yes. However, here in Utah, they get much more snow than I than I would like. Yeah. Like it's beautiful, it's great, but I don't I don't know if I would. I like the amount that we get in Arkansas. Yeah. I don't. You don't? What? I like more. You want You'd more? You want more? Mm -hmm. Well, there are those years there. It will I come. Only get like two. We get two really good snowstorms. Normally, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going to have a lot of fun today, sugar. Mama, go away. Mama. Yes, sunshine. I wish in Arkansas, like, you get, like, you get, I don't know, like, at least, like, 10 feet of snow. 10 feet of snow? That's a lot yeah, of snow. No. 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 Yes, <laughs> 10 feet. I think we ain't in Canada. So All I right. think you want that until you have that. And then when you have that, you're like, no. You know, it's fun when you're a kid. But it when is. you're an adult and then you have to shovel the snow. and Drive in it. Drive in it. And... Drive in 10 feet of snow. Exactly. Well, <laughs> there's there's parts of the country, like you up in north of Washington and everything. Car ain't even no, they snow tall. they snow plow it yeah. and you have a straight wall of snow that you're driving around. Yeah. <laughs> and all you can see is snow. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't miss those aspects of it. Uh, there's no way. Lori, Lori Larkin says fresh snow for snowboarding. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm gonna turn this back around again, guys. We are getting close to our destination, so I'll be uh, I'll be jumping out. Just for a minute. Just We're, for I'll a be minute. needing to get out because my glasses. Yeah, you're gonna need to go in and check. Sending me. Um, through the parking lot. It took me the back way. I, I mean, I'm not mad about it. There yeah. was a lot of traffic on that uh, freeway. So I'm happy we went that way. We probably saved a lot of time. Yeah. Spring cleaning? I don't think it's spring. I think it's still winter. Uh, technically. Dollar Tree is right here. Okay. We're gonna. Gary's gonna pop into the Dollar Tree really quick because we need some uh, some glasses. Yeah, with this snow and everything, I want to make sure that the kids have some sort of protection for their eyeballs. And because the sun, like when it reflects off of the snow, it's Thank like you. even more sunny. Mm -hmm. Than not. 
I'm going to check and see if they have any, uh, uh, they have goggles, I mean, shoot. Yeah, then get everybody some goggles. Some goggles but, um, where's your... <clears throat> my what? Wallet. My wallet right here. Oh. Sorry. You are good. Let me get Gary some money really quick. Oh, man. But it's super, super, super nice. Super, super nice. Trying to see if there's any questions beforehand. All righty. I'll be right back, y'all. He will be. He'll be right back. Amy, I'm, stay I'm in a, with me, buddy. I'm quick. Hi, though. Scarlet's, Scarlet's passed out, so somebody's got to stay yeah, in the car. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the car's still on. Um, He should be in and out. He's just going to get the kids some glasses. If they have goggles, that would be, like, super awesome. I doubt that they're going to have goggles, but... You never know, like different parts of the country have different things in their stores. How are your lips doing, bud? You need some more of that chapstick? No. No? We have been chapsticking it up lately because it's so dry. We're not, we're used to the humidity now. Never thought I'd be used to it, but I'm used to the humidity now. I'm used to Arkansas. Yeah, you are. I'm very Arkansas. Mm hmm. Hey, you want to show everybody your cute little snow outfit we got you? We were able to stop at the um, the DI, the Desiree Industries, which is like a secondhand store out in this area, but it has really good secondhand stuff. And anyway, look at that cute up, cute bib that he's got. And it's like brand new. Look at that thing. Brand. It's like brand stinking new. I think Gary got it for like seven bucks or something. I was like, oh my goodness. Heck yeah. No, if it was, more. imagine a three. <laughs> That'd be awesome too, but no, I don't expect it to be free. Yeah. But oh, let me go back to these comments now that I, I'm all chapsticked up. Okay. Cindy Norris, Mel, you're not weird. You and Gary need some downtime, and plus, it's your family's vacation. That's right. Uh, this is this is definitely our family's vacation for this year. I don't see us doing any big vacationing this summer. We're gonna really like. Even now, when we get back from this, we're gonna we have to really laser focus on our cabin. We got to try to get our um, metal up on our roof. Honey, can you sit back, cause Scarlet? Scarlet's like rolling her eyes. She's like half awake, half asleep. Um, but yeah, when we get back, we got to really laser focus on um, our roof. Got to finish building the decking covering, and then we got to do the mud room in front, and then yeah. we can do all the metal. And that's like our that's our huge, that's the huge weight on our shoulder right now. Mama. And I, one second baby. And I think until we get to that point where metal is on the roof, I think Gary and I are always going to be kind of, uh, gotta, gotta go, gotta go, and a little anxious, right? And then once we get the metal on the roof, I think that a lot of our stress is going to be relieved as far as our build is concerned. Uh, but this summer, I don't foresee us taking any big vacations with the kids, however, we are going to be doing a lot of camping on the weekends or possibly during the weekdays, depending on how the weather is planning out to be. But Gary and I have a lot of work to do from now until the end of the year because um, we, we have pretty big goals for where we want our cabin to be and where we want where we want to be, like, say, Christmas time at the end of this year. Yes, Sunshine. Do you want to know what we should have brought? What? Beat the parents. Beat the parents? Oh, that game? Beat the parents? You know what? Uncle uh, Curtis probably has it. They have a lot of kids. So they probably, and they have a lot of board games. They're like us. They play a lot of board games. I bet you they have it. Okay. We'll ask Auntie Anne when we get back, okay? Okay. Um, let's see. But we really should. If they didn't just... I know. If, if, if they didn't have it, we should have brought it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I should have just went lightning speed. Heather Hopper. Heather Hopper says it's fun until it becomes a chore, and she's talking about all the snow. The snow is fun until it becomes chores, like scooping up that dog poop. How would you like to scoop up big old loads of snow every single day? Because that's what would happen if you had 10 feet of snow all the time, son. You'd be out there with a shovel. And you don't even like going out with a shovel for the poop. <laughs> Are you changing your mind about wanting that much snow? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll always go to places where you can get snow to play, okay? Are we going to build a snowman today? Yes. 
do you want to build a snowman? I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to find a short little stick. Why a short little stick? For snowman? No. Oh, his nose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Olaf. You want to do Olaf? Mm -hmm. yeah, what about Frosty? Frosty. Frosty the snowman. Well, we need a hat. Oh, that's true. We can make one out of snow. Um, I don't think we can. You just gotta shape it the right way and use your imagination. Or we can just use the head. Yeah. What Olaf might be easier because he doesn't have any of those hats and scarves and corn cob pipe and a butt and nose and two eyes made out of coal. He doesn't have none of that. Yeah. Olaf just has a carrot. And but I we could use a stick. Yeah. Yeah. And we just and I just yeah. need to find two little rocks to yeah. stick in it. Stick his eyes in. Uh, the dog catcher, did he uh, get them bibs at the Desert? Yes, he did. We got that. And then we also got some for. Um, Julia and Scarlet, and then we got them snow boots too. Oh, and we picked up some for Wyatt that we're gonna bring home with us to Arkansas. So that way, uh, when it snows at the end of this year, when we, when Arkansas gets our snow again, um, Wyatt will have some because all the stuff that we had before, like the kids grew out of, it's really hard to find in Arkansas. And when you do find it, they're very pricey. They don't have like, at least from what we found, they don't really have like secondhand stores that have a lot of snow gear in Arkansas. Maybe, maybe if we traveled up to like Fayetteville or uh, across the border into Missouri because they get much more snow than we do. Um, but in our little local area, it's very, very few and far in between. But we got them boots. Um, we got them all snow bibs and um, everyone's covered. And we got some gloves too. We got the really nice hardy snow gloves, but the gloves, we didn't get second hand. We got the gloves um, I forget what store, but I didn't go. It was just Gary and uh, Curtis, his brother, and they went to one of those snow stores, and they got a super deal on it. Like each pair of those snow gloves were like seven bucks, uh, and which is super cheap for snow gloves because they're usually like twenty dollars a pair. So we got a good, good deal on it, which I love. Uh, I love finding a good bargain. So. Um, Mama. <laughs> Huh? Do you remember that time when we were in Turkey and you were over the sea and I helped you and I steered the wheel? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Abe's telling about when I let him drive Biggie. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember when I let you drive Biggie. I remember. That was a fun time. Yeah. Um, and what about them snow angels wants to know, Arnold? Are you going to make snow angels? Yes. Yeah? How many? Probably like a whole row. A whole yeah. row of Pro snow angels. Probably I'm just going to make, I'm just going to grab a stick and make a whole box, then walk in there, in there, and just make a thousand snow angels. <laughs> a thousand snow angels? Dang. Are they going to be singing in the tabernacle choir? Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm probably gonna spend like 30 minutes making the square. Oh yeah? Because it's not gonna be square. Yeah. <laughs> Kathleen Cohn, good morning everyone. Good morning Kathleen, thank you for joining us today. It's gonna be a big square. It is. Um, Fran uh, says, make sure you have some sanitizer on hand because this time of year for COVID, be safe and enjoy your vacation. Thank you so much for caring about us. Um, so actually, what we did do is before I left on this trip, um, we, I actually made some uh, elderberry syrup. We have super awesome subscriber, Linda McLean. Thank you so much, Linda. She sent me a bunch of elderberries and all the stuff I needed to make the elderberry syrup. Well in one of our videos before we left it's on simple life i actually made all the elderberry syrup and i brought enough to where i could share it and enjoy it with my in-laws so i gave out some elderberry syrup to them gary's coming back and we've been taking it so they have been taking that um abe does have kind of like a little snuffly thing going on and that's because of all of the people and the change in the climate and stuff but we are taking the elderberry stuff and um 
so that should help to boost the immunity right so we should be good we should be good but i appreciate you caring about us and uh being considerate in that way see look at her ticket dude i'm going to smith's right here oh. the car won't let you go anywhere without i know it. i'm like man Come look at her ticket this car yells at you real quick if it you does. Don't, if you don't oh like instantly you moved three feet hey, i'm snitching hey, hey. i'm snitching Mama, mama, he took all the cookies. Mama, he took all the cookies. Punish him, punish Man. him. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm going just a little bit, all right? I was going to walk it, and then I was like, dude, that's a far that's a far walk. I ain't walking all the way over there and then walking back. What do you got to go to Albertsons for? They didn't really have uh, any that's medicine Smith? there for... Not Albertsons? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Same difference. Oh, but I want to get Abe some... A little bit more. Yeah. He is taking the elderberry, but we want to get him some like cough medicine. Just medicine. in case. Thank you. Guys. That's your guys Thank you. Right. I'm going to have my. I parked. Stop yelling. It's still <laughs> snitching because. I'm going to be right back David. because I'm sitting. No, it's not. It's because you moved the car. I'll, pl I'll plug it in so that way it's not going to. See? Quit your snitching. We literally <laughs> parked. I know. The car's in it. Well, it's because he drove off and it, it snitches until you uh, plug it in. So, let me see. I'm going to come back to the comments. Gary will be right back again, friends, and then it'll be uh, the dynamic duo once again. Um, Mel, have you guys been to Lambert's Cafe, says McAllister? No, we haven't yet, um, but we did go to, I want to say it was Big Bear's Cafe. What was that the name of it, Julia? Yes. Black no. Black, Black, Black Bears. Black Bears. Diner. Black Bears Diner. See, I knew the kids would know. Um, and that was really good. It had a lot of really good food there. And uh, what no did you more. get, Julia? You got the same as me? Yes. Uh, we had um, French toast and hash browns and eggs. What did you get, Sunshine? Um, Yesterday at the Black Bear place. What'd you get? Oh, pancakes with chocolate and chips. And whipped cream. Pancakes, chocolate chips, and whipped cream. And they gave you an orange and lettuce. And I want to say Scarlett had the same thing as Abe, or darn near close to it, because she had some chocolate chips in hers, too. So She had, she had a mini volcano. Oh, okay. And that has, like, everything stacked on top of it. And it was really good. And Scott's awake, but she's not. She has her eyes open, and she is wondering what's going on. She's still in and out. She's waking up. She's sleepy, girl. Leave her be. Don't pick oh. on her. Leave her be. She's asleep, but her eyes are... Um, all handmade. Connie, I see snowflakes out your window. Here, check this out. It's snowing pretty good. Oh, Whoa, come on. I just made it zoom in. Yeah. Well, I pushed the button to move it, and then it, like... So, yeah, the snowflakes are hitting the window, but because it's nice and toasty in here, they melt pretty quick, but it's it's definitely snowing outside. Uh, I got snow all over my jacket. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. Lamb uh, Lambers US within five miles of where I, I live. Awesome rolls. I'll have to check that out. Um, this morning we just had the continental breakfast that was offered at our hotel. Yesterday uh, we went out to the Black Bears Diner mostly because we missed our continental breakfast because we had gotten in the night before so late and we slept in so late they had already like cleaned up breakfast and we missed our chance um so we had to go somewhere and get some food and i was happy though because it was really good food but we'll try that lambert's place i mean i'm always down for some good breakfast why not um, let's see. Stewie, it's going to be 91 here in South Texas today. I remember my snow days in Michigan and Pennsylvania. Fun when I was young, right? It's always so much fun when you're little and be able to to do these kinds of, and play in it. And then when you're done playing in it, you know, mom's got some hot cocoa for you and you get all nice and warmed up and yeah, it's good times. It's good times. Um, let's see. Black bear like Denny's in a log cabin. Yeah, pretty much. It was very cute too. Like um, the uh, the scenery around. Get your feet off my my chair, Julia. Get your shoes shoes off of my chair. Thank you. The scenery around the um, the log cabin. It's very cute. They have like little totem poles and stuff. Here, I'm gonna change it. Unless you guys want to keep watching the windshield 
wipers go. <laughs> I mean, I'll put it back if you want people watching. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's very cute atmosphere inside there, and the staff was friendly and it was nice. And Jean, shoes. Thank you. What color shirt is? Let me see. Um, it's a uh, Brooke Burks. There is a Black Bear Diner in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, so their menus they give you, it's like a newspaper, which is pretty cool. And it tells news, it's like feels like a newspaper and looks like a newspaper. And it tells news on the front cover about the Black Bear place. And then on the sides of it, it lists all of their locations. And they have a ton of locations across the U.S., um, and I had been to a black bear once before, but it was so long ago. It was with my dad, like one of the times I was taking my dad to go to town and run his errands uh, before he passed. That was literally the last time that I went to a black bear. And I think that was my first. So I've only been twice to my knowledge, but it was good. It was just as good as I remember. It was really good. Um, uh, Slayer Andrew, y'all must be close to your destination, right? Not red. No. Not really, kind of, sort of. Um, we still have to go up the mountain more. Like right now, we're kind of like at the base of the mountain, at like a a Smith, so that way Gary can run in and grab something. He had to go get some sunglasses at Dollar General, um, but we still have to go like up that. the mountain. So. Uh, um, Sue Wagner, hi Mel, I'm loving seeing the snow. It hasn't snowed much here this year in Pennsylvania. Take care and stay safe. Love you guys. We love you back, sweetie. Thank you for being here and I'm happy to share. I mean, we don't really get much uh, snow where we're at either, just like twice a year. And it snows and whenever it does, we have a great time in it, you know, make the most of it. But then it melts in a couple of days and it's gone. And then we just got the mud. But we're enjoying it while we're while we're here with it. Um, Kathleen Cohn, Mel, the garlic and honey are antibiotic. Yes. Um, and there was somebody else that commented it. Yeah. Oh, Kathleen, it was you too. She says, Mel, the garlic and honey is for bladder and urinary infections, um, for your endocrine system. The elderberry is for lungs and your immune system. Thank you so much for the info. I'm still learning about all those types of things and the garlic and honey, right? So I did try making the garlic and honey. Oh, I got to move. Ugh. I, as you guys know, I did make the garlic and honey in uh, the jar and I have it. I've tried it. The kids have tried it. It does seem to work and make you feel a little bit better. Although, the garlic, uh, when you chomp down and eat one of those cloves, let me tell you what, it's, it's a weird combination, garlic and honey. It's not that it tastes that terrible, because I like garlic and I like honey. So, it's just a strange combination of flavors. Uh, but my biggest gripe is that after I chomp down on one of those cloves, man, I am rank. My breath stank for like days. I don't care how much I brush. I don't care how much I flush. I don't care how much I use mouthwash. I cannot get that stank rank smell out of my breath. And then I don't want to talk to anybody. And I'm like, Ooh. and you guys know how much I love to talk. So, and then I, I, when I sweat, I can like smell like that garlic stank coming out of me and it's like garlic smells good but not when it's turned into sweat I don't know so I'm not a fan of that one just because of how stanky it is uh, the elderberry syrup doesn't seem to be having the same type of effect um, granted you don't really use like the garlic cloves like whole like in it like that so that's probably the difference <laughs> and maybe it's just a me thing maybe that's another one of those me things uh, but I, I prefer, I'd prefer something else. I do like the elderberry. And if, you know, if I was having like a serious issue, I probably would just deal with it. Suck it up, buttercup. But, um, you know, when I tried it, it was, and I had Abraham and Gary do it too. Man, they stank for like, Abe would come over and like, give me a hug and like, try to give me a kiss. And same with Gary. And I'm like, no, ew, go away. <laughs> it was bad. So, um, <clears throat> let me see. Um. Lambert's is not here. It's closer to Missouri. Oh, in the Ozarks, says McAllister. Okay, so my bad. Well, we'll try it when we go home then. I'll have to look them up because it does sound pretty cool. Like, you guys make it sound like it's yummy. 
uh, the actual town Ozark, closer to Springfield, Missouri. Thank you, Trina. I appreciate that. Um, let me see. Everybody that's in here, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate it. It definitely helps us out a lot. Um, uh, Linda, have a fun vacation. Stay safe and get home safe. Yes, that's the goal. Now, we do have some snow chains and stuff in the back of the car. I haven't used them yet. But Gary, you know, he's boy, he was a Boy Scout. And um, he's always very prepared. He's always very, very prepared for all situations 90% uh, of the time. There's always like the something that will sneak up on you every once in a while. But Sorry, I just want my feet up. No, put your feet down. Don't be sticking your shoes all over my car. The struggle is real. <laughs> Notice though, I just turned around and the shoes went down. So, uh, let me see. I'm going back down here. Um, Atasha Lynn. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, Atasha. Good to see you today. All I did was tap. Uh, Brenda Mooney, so glad you're checking in with us all. Late on this chat, but I'm glad to see you all are okay. Um, how much further do you got to your destination? Well, we are in Utah, so we've already been to, uh, I guess we've been, I mean, we've been here for a couple of days, uh, but today's destination is going to be snowboarding with the Fam Bam. I'm not sure how much longer we have until we're at the top of the mountain, but I think we have a 30 minute drive or so to the, uh, to the top of the mountain. And I'm just waiting right now in the parking lot for Gary to get out of Smith's because he went to go grab some um, some of that cold, I think like Zorbies or something for Abe. Because he does have a little bit, I've been giving him the elderberry stuff, but he does have a little bit of a, um, a snot thing going on. And that's just because all the, the kids were together. There was like, I think we counted and there's like 14 nieces and nephews. There's a bunch of kids. And that's just at the house. Yeah. And so when you get that many people together, someone is bound to get sick. It's just... Yeah, because Bella was sick. Yeah. Exactly. When that many people around is bound to happen. <clears throat> so we're trying to minimize it and keep it, oh, well, the elder keep it down as possible. Syrup, um, helped her and now she's not... She's feeling better from the elderberries? Uh-huh. Like yesterday, Jean. we were playing a lot. Like, we tried to do that, and we still haven't did it yet. Yeah. 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 Did what? So I'm going to get back. Are we going to go back? <laughs> yeah, we're going to go back over there. Oh, yeah, and play the board games. Okay. We're going to play board games, and we're going to have dinner together, and... No, yep. we're going to go out because... We're going to have dinner together. We're going to play board games. Yes, I know. Just because I said we're going to have dinner together doesn't mean that we're going to have it at his house. No, I will like... That's you what just comes into my mind. Mama, look. Yeah, it's okay. Mama, what sunshine? Wow. It's just the first day I've well, good morning, mom. Scarlett. Welcome. She's like, okay, I'm here. I'm on a live chat. Do you want to say hi to everybody? They're wa sure. they're watching us. Poke your head in. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody, and a happy new year. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Now, now I say bye. How much dollars my boots were? Zero. Yes. No, they weren't zero. Here comes Daddy. They were ten. There he is. Oh, that's, that's more than cough syrup. Huh? I said that's more than cough syrup. Yeah, I got the. I got the pharmacy. All right. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> cough syrup. I'm a. I'm a. You know, the I'm a firm feet. believer in, uh, no. you know, being prepared. <laughs> so I, I got was just us. telling them that you were a Boy Scout and that you're very prepared. <laughs> My brother's the same way. He's he packed up his closet, dang near. <laughs> Daddy, the I am unconcerned. I got some cough drops. Cause that's that's definitely important. I got airborne. Cause just in case. <laughs> Some children's uh, day quill and night quill. Dear PA. I got you uh, some oh, more. Thank you, babe. Drama me. Uh, got us some Blistex. Nice. Medicated. Nice. Got us some ibuprofen. Some Tylenol. Like, why do you have to talk to me? Children's and adults, so. Daddy, what we are you? covered. Dad, what did you 
Scare I'm sorry, buddy. Gabe says that day quill for the children's day day quill smells like the deer pee that and it tastes like it. How would you know what deer pee tastes like? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the question, child. Are you outing yourself right now? <laughs> that is that is the question. <laughs> or are you just saying it tastes like what you think it would taste like based off no, of the smell? No, he did because like it got on his fingers and then he went like this. <laughs> And then Ew. I went like this, and you licked it. Oh, that's gross, dude. Mm. Nasty. Mm. Yeah. Nasty. Alrighty. Well, if anybody was curious about what deer pee tastes like, apparently get some children's uh, Dayquil. Yeah. Now you know what deer pee is. I don't know why you would be curious, though. Curious minds want to know. Look, I love Why did the kid stick his tongue on the pole in uh, the toys, the, yeah. the Christmas story movie? Somebody dared him. Because of no, it was just a dare. It was a triple dog dare. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted to know. They wanted <laughs> to find <laughs> out. They want to find out. He skipped the double dog dare and went to the triple dog dare. Oh, you can't do a triple dog dare. <laughs> you can what? do a triple yeah, dog dare. Actually, yes, you can. You can oh, that movie's so funny. Right. 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 Uh, Trina, blah! I know, gross, yeah. right? Disgusting. I'm trying to keep it close so I can. Oh, I'm, I'm have sorry. An idea I idea of where I'm going. <laughs> read some comments. All right. Um, Boy Scout Gary says McAllister. Yes, he's yep. he's. I always feel safe when Gary's around. There's. Yeah, I mean, Boy Scouts is a good thing, man. Julia. Hmm? Mm, no, you did exactly what oh. I wanted. Uh huh. I've been telling her, like every every few seconds, she ke or every minute or two, she keeps putting her shoes up on your seat, mm. <laughs> and I keep giving her the side eye. <laughs> don't hey, do it on purpose. Come on, no, it's son. not funny. I'm asking you guys nicely. Don't make me get nasty, please. We're having a wonderful day. Oh, it's getting warm in this car, though. I'm not gonna lie. I know. It's nice. I'm I'm turning this down to 68. Let's do it again. Come on, you guys. Fran says, Abe, I love your smile with your front teeth missing. Isn't it so cute, guys? <laughs> Hopefully they'll grow in, huh? All right? They will. One, One of these days. <laughs> day. I don't know, man. Yours, baby? <laughs> yeah, Scarlett's got a missing tooth, too. Nope. Um, oh, man. Terry says, could Abe be experiencing allergies due to climate weather change? Could be. It could be, but honestly, there was a couple of sick kids, of course. Like couple. I said, when you get that many kids together, we're um, bound to be one. And we're all, we're all coming, we're all traveling too, so we're all bringing our out of state germs together. And yeah, yeah I don't care about competitors. Um, let's see. Um, Eva, Mel, I have to make up a bag filled with all kinds of medicine, band-aids, Pepto, allergies, etc. It all goes on every trip with me, especially when it's outside of the country. Yeah. Um, I would too if I was going yeah. out of the country because you never know what you're going to be able to get, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't know what other countries have available. Or don't have. Dada. Exactly, or don't have. Uh, Dada, I don't yeah. think I'm turning... Oh, I'm, I am. I'm getting on the 15. Okay. Yeah, you're going to hop on the 15. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Have to wait. I'm on. Okay, well, I got... On. You want a banana? Come on. on go or not, this. dude? How are you going to... Well, child, I got a banana and I got a bag of chips. That's what I could offer you right now. I want a bag of chips. I don't know what's going on. That's essentially all I got for you right now because we're driving. And you did just have breakfast, so... You want a banana? Thirty minutes ago. <laughs> so Getting on to the fifteen. This is gonna be fun. Um. So yeah, now we're hopping on the fifteen, and yeah, this is gonna be fun. I am not a fan of the traffic like this. I'm not a fan of the fifteen in the snow. Me either. It's a little uh, sketchy here. Look, look at the sketch. No, not that camera. There we go. Isn't it's a little sketchy. School bus following us. Well, school buses yeah. gotta go to school bus, school places. We're getting off in 3.3 miles. Okay. okay. No, they probably dropped all the kids off at school, and now the bus has to go back to the bus depot. And 
bus depot. Yeah, it's where all the buses park and wait so to go is, pick up so kids. So we went to a bus depot. What, what about Home Depot? <laughs> bus Depot, Home Depot. I see what you did there, kid. It's the bus's Home Depot. Right? But is it our Home Depot? No. Okay, let me see here. We got, um, uh, Tamara says better to have it and not need it. That's right, Tamara. Correct. That is, uh, Dad, look, something Gary's to live by. Meat. Look at Gary's meat. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see it or not, but it that truck say. right there is Gary's meat. <laughs> Man, there could be so many jokes So many jokes. I'm saying them inside my head right now. <laughs> so many jokes. <laughs> Let's let your imaginations run free. Uh, 2 a.m. How are you guys liking Utah? It's busy, huh? Yes, it is super busy. I like it though. It's uh, it's so beautiful out here. I'm gonna have to slow down my my windshield wipers. It's going doing the whole dry rub. There it goes. Free Mississippi. Hi guys. What up? What up? Good to see you guys in here. Thanks for joining. They said, hey guys, you found the bad weather. Be safe. Yeah. Yeah. I had a feeling though. Yeah, uh, we knew. We knew it was going to be. Oh man, I got to. Yeah. Turn them back up on that one. Five lanes of highway reminds me of 170 and 270 on St. Louis. No thanks. I know it. Yeah. It, it is five lanes of highway. It's, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty nuts in some aspects, right? I remember when we came up this way with our trailer. That was a whoo, buddy. I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> That's a butt pucker in driving right there. We were puckered. <laughs> um, Aronix 1979. Now don't bring the snow back to Arkansas when y'all come home. <laughs> I hope not. Although I, I think not. we're going to bring some rain. Yeah. You guys are gonna be getting this here in like two days, so yeah. be prepared. Yeah, but it won't be this. It won't be the snow. It'll be rain by the time that it gets yeah. back home. I mean, it's possible, but I doubt it. I doubt it too. They're having much nicer weather in the high 60s and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, through Mississippi, it's 70 and sunny in the Sith. I bet it is. Utah, yeah. this is this is what it is in Utah right now. Uh, one mile for that. I'm assuming that that's where I'm going. I'm hoping. Because um, that's I, what it's saying for right there. I'll, it's keep, going right. I'll keep this map open big for you. I'm just like, Yes, uh, sweetie. Okay, yeah. I am. You're done with your banana? Can you just put it in the car door for now, sweetheart, the peel? I'll get it out from Good there boy. later. Like, well, we have to have a trash can. Yeah, we don't have a bag or a trash can in here right now. Just, just put it in the door. started slowing down up ahead. That's the first time you actually ever said that one. 70 miles I know, I usually man. always have a bag of trash in here. It is 70, but I'm not doing that. I'm doing 40. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, this right here is our turn off. Yeah. And then we're going to just cruise on that for a while. I'm just going to stay in this middle-ish right turn lane. And then we're going to be turning in like the spaghetti bowl looking area. Oh, so. good to know that I'm yeah. doing an on-ramp type And it's thing. actually, like I'm looking at the map, it's going to be pretty soon too. Like we're going to get on. Snowbird Alta. Okay. Uh, we'll be getting on the 215 after the 15. Okay. Okay, just see so that way you know. That way I can pull up the comments again. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it says like a little fifth. over an hour. Yeah. So, oh, so then we're much. We're, I I didn't know. People were asking like, how far until you're at your destination? I was like, I don't know. We gotta still drive up to the mountain. And I was like, I think we're like 30 minutes or so away. Nope, an hour, guys. We won't be on the live chat this whole time. In fact, we've actually already been live chatting with you guys for an hour and 20. And I don't want to keep you guys all day. Yeah. Especially because we are going to come back live uh, later on tonight on Simple Life Reclaimed. So, there's that. So, we'll, we'll stay with you guys for a little bit longer. Um, how about we stay for another 12 minutes and keep it a well-rounded hour and a half. Alright. And then um, we'll join you guys for an hour later on tonight on Simple Life. Just because. And, and 
Again, don't hold me to it because that's all dependent on if we have service up at the mountain. Mm -hmm. If we don't have service up at the mountain, then then we don't have service. Yeah. So that's that's another reason why we're kind of doing it now, <laughs> hanging out with you guys over here now. Mm -hmm. So it's so white. Just in case. Yes, it is. It's like a whiteout, huh, baby? Yeah. I'm I made gonna, a white out I need person. that. I need the de-thawing. Yeah, sorry if the audio gets a little fanned out. A semi truck. You might have to turn it up higher. What? Yep, a semi truck. Yeah. Three Mississippi. Ha ha, the kids think Gary is a slow poke. He's just safe, alright? He's just safe. I am a, I am a, a bit of a slow poke nowadays, I'm not gonna lie. Because we're getting old. Well, like it's not, it's so that, but there's no, you know, the older and older you get, the more you realize that, you know, life's, life's too short. There's no need to, uh, you know, full throttle it through life. You can, yeah. You can take it back a little, sit back, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the life. And Arkansas taught us uh, several good life lessons yeah, in that fine. area. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, there is, Southern time is a legit thing, such as Hawaii time, right? Southern time. It's um, it's a way of life. Yes. <laughs> and being able to take it back and slow down, right? You appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. And there is no rush. Why rush? Why rush through life? It goes by fast enough as it is. There's a lot. There's a lot of nice people out here, but it's it's definitely a little interesting sometimes driving out here versus out there because everybody out there will stop and be like yeah go for it go for it go for it out here it's like i turn on the blinker ball <laughs> are you gonna go or are you gonna let me in or what and they're like purposely like trying to be right on you like you can't go anywhere it's like what the heck dude you see my leak blinker like <laughs> i'll say I, I will agree with your sentiment but there's a ton of nice people out here absolutely um but I've noticed that. I've waved at like probably 10 people and not, those 10 did not wave back. Not only that, but I've, gone, like, I've gone into, I won't name names or anything so I don't want to throw anybody under buses, right? But I have oh, gone into a heck. couple of stores here and have not had good treatment that whatsoever. It was surprising. awful uh, out here in Utah. So they're not as, they're not as good with the customer service. They're definitely a bit more snobby or just. They're, they're not that, they're. They're like living that fast pace. That's probably what life. it is. That's life. probably what it is. And get in, get out. Get in, get out. That's probably what it is. And we're used to uh, Southern hospitality at this point, which we give back and we are used to a receiving. So it's throwing me off a little bit. It is throwing us <laughs> off a little bit because we're like, wait, what? Why are you what? guys being so huh? short with us? What? Huh? And we don't, you know, we don't speak up about it, but that's what goes on in our head. It's like, why are you being so short with us? Why? Why? Why, Craig? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Abe. Why, Craig? Why? <laughs> was that? No, it was Abe. Okay. Yeah. Why, Craig? Why, Craig? But yeah, we're used to. We're used to. My heart and my home is the South now. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. I may have grew up in the desert and all that, and I still have massive love for the desert, and it is. It's, beautiful in its own way um but my heart and my home and where i my soul feels like it belongs is in the south now that's that's where we belong so i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this visit it's been fantastic i'm so happy that we're able to spend all this time with your fam bam and it's oh, been great it's great but i will be i will be by the time it's all said and done i'll be ready to go home yeah, yeah. it will be uh it'll be nice yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to go too crazy fast. I might want to jump over, but... Pearly May, they are just rude compared to us Southern people. You said it. You said it, not me. You said it. Oh, the bus behind me. Right? I mean... And you know, you be, like, we become accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. And so now... It's, I don't know. And when you live out here and when you're raised out here, you're, you're accustomed to this. And I remember when we first moved to the South. And when and we everybody, first, and everybody was, was so nice. It was, like, it was weird. Hey, like, it, it was weird. We were like, what do they want? This is odd. <laughs> What's their ulterior motive, right? But now that we've had that for a few years, 
it's there is no ulterior motive. Yeah. That is genuinely how people are, and that's and and in return, that is genuinely how we are as well, um, because we've adapted to our surroundings in a, in the best possible way possible. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but it is weird. You come back over here, you'd think like I'd be able to snap back into the way, but yeah. it's but I can't. I can't just snap back into that. It's like I don't. I don't. Um, I miss that southern hospitality. Everybody's so busy, you know. Life marches on. So move, get out of my way. Yeah, move, Chris. <laughs> move, girl. Trick. I'll just say trick. Move, trick. Get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> anyway, squirrel. Um, squirrel. Um, turbo. Agreed, Pearly May. Yeah, we. I catch you throwing Pearly May. I'll, I'll throw it right back. We catch it. <laughs> um, Kent, I miss the days of all mom and pop stores. I never got to experience that where it was all mom and pop stores. We always had like a Kmart. That's I've, not mom and pop. I've experienced it for a very little bit. Very little bit. Until I don't know if got a Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> Kmart, all right. I think they still have one. <laughs> Maybe. But, and Maybe. we got That's Walmart too. Was, was Those were the mall days. Yeah, That's you'd have to drive. Movie. You'd have to drive and uh... Ew! Somebody... <laughs> Kids are stinking us out, man. Kids are stinking us out! Every time. Roll down the window, you guys are nasty! Oh, what you eat? <laughs> you know you have a family. Look, this is real life. Oh, tell man. me, tell me you've ridden with kids when you ride and you roll with the Fabrice in the car because right. your kids nope. stink. No. Nope. <laughs> right, no, dude. Take it. Take that. Take that. It's not my eye. Oh, well, I have glasses. It's not my eye. Sorry. You want a baby wipe, bro? <laughs> no one's gonna claim it though. No one's gonna clean clean it. <laughs> real life, friends. Real life. No one's gonna claim it though. <laughs> I know we didn't run over no skunk. All right. <laughs> yeah. Usually the kids blame it on a skunk. No, oh, we must have run over a skunk. I mean, there are, there are skunks out here, but it's not as it's not like it is in Arkansas. It didn't right? smell like a the same. That's no death. That was death in the pants right there. Hey, on, spill it. It's back here. Listen, tell me, tell me you're a parent. All right, or are you even a parent if you don't roll around with Febreze in the car and baby wipes? I mean, I'm failing right now because I don't have a trash bag right now per se, but I will as soon as we start emptying out all those things. Gary just bought in my little bag, right? <laughs> so yeah, I roll over. I, I can't just raise a hand. Who does that? Is that a mom thing or is it a male thing? Because my family stinks. <laughs> I don't want to carry the yeah, 15 miles, all right. <laughs> the heck out of this left lane, though. I know what it was. It was Abe. It was Julia. It was Julia. Yeah, I know it was. It was me. It was daddy. <laughs> and that's why he's laughing so much. It was daddy. Daddy uh, did it. If it was me, I'd totally claim it. Play. No, no, it was daddy. It was not me. It was daddy. It was not me. No, daddy not this quiet. Time. Quiet. Now we're going to argue daddy over who did it. Not this time. Okay, daddy we can change the subject right, now because we got two minutes left. And yeah, that was pretty funny. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing the show of hands. I'm seeing the show of hands. Y'all roll around with some Febreze in your car, too. I feel you. I keep baby wipes on deck, too, just because you never know when you have to wash some sticky fingers. Yeah. You know? I feel up right now. Or whenever you have to pull over on the side of the room and tinkle, or the, the road and tinkle. Yeah. Keep the baby wipes on deck just because you never know. You never know. You know when you need them. <laughs> Stewie, my kids were so bad they could gag a maggot. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Uh, uh, Dorian, darn it, I'm late. Yeah. You know? Potholes. Um. Renee, I carried a medical kit everywhere because I had a child that was always the one who got hurt. Everybody knew where to go for minor injuries. You know? That was Gary when he was growing up. He was the hurt child. Yeah. We have, we have a couple of hurt children. Quiet, grab some Tylenol just in case. You never know. You never know what happens, you know. Uh, Leanne says Texas is the friendly state. Texas is pretty darn friendly. Texas is pretty friendly. Texas is pretty darn friendly. I haven't had a bad time in Texas yet. Every time that we've gone through there, it's always been pretty darn good. So, Paul Honeyman, good to see you, sir. I hope you're feeling well. We've missed you. Yes, yes. Um, he says, careful, kids. Every time Daddy hits a pothole, he's smarting. <laughs> the part around the world. Yep. <laughs> hey, it happens, right? Trina, um, Mississippi said, let them or Mama B know if you can't make it, uh, make the live and they'll let the viewers know. I'll try. It's all dependent on cell phone service. So if I don't have cell phone service to go live, I probably won't have cell phone service worst to case, text. Worst case scenario, if there's no cell phone service, I have a feeling that they will be at the top of the mountain. Yeah. So I'll hop on that lift and go all the way up and I'll text. Somebody, David somebody or somebody, know. but somebody know in yep. the family, so don't let y'all know. But yeah, somebody in the family. I'm hoping that will. we'll have a service. We should. I mean, I think we will. We we'll see. We've got service pretty much everywhere we go, have gone, you know. Except for when we were leaving uh, the Four Corners. Yeah. That's at yeah. the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But yeah. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> no man's land. So. Um, well, guys, we've been on for about an hour and a half already. I do want to jump off of this thing because I don't want you guys to have to. Uh, I know that you guys would, and I love you guys so much, but we're not going to keep this thing rolling all day. We will be back, um, hopefully, with a live later on tonight on Simple Life Reclaimed. Again, pending our internet connection. Um, it'll be at our normal time, and uh, so long as we have internet connection, we will see you later on Simple Life Reclaimed. So we're going to have a really great day. Pray for us that there's no injuries that everybody just has a, a darn good time. We'll probably be a bit wiped out, uh, but we will see you guys later on tonight on Simple Life of Claim. So yeah. we're going to go snowboarding it up. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. I know, I'm excited. I'm going to go hit some rails and do some jumps. I'm going to stay on the bunny bunny rails. Yeah, I can't wait. It's been so long. So long. Yeah, I probably won't be doing any jumps or anything, but I'm going to go down the bunny slopes with the kiddos. It'll be fun. is not the same as it used to be and even when I did it when I was at 20 and 21 it's only like the random one time that I have gone I think I've only gone like four times in my life like snowboarding so it's been a lot it's been a lot with my brother and that yeah. was uh no well, you've gone a lot you're good and plus you were a skateboarder so like you yeah, my... actually have that balance it's so. no it took me some time hey, man but yep it's yeah, it's, it's to your, to your We'll show, you, we'll show you, baby. I'll do but, the rundown with Jeff. But we are going to get going, guys. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us today for a rando, um, kind of a long real talk with us a lot. We appreciate you guys. Um, yes. Thank you so much, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Hope that you guys love stuff. So, you guys, we'll see you later on tonight on Simple Life Reclaimed. And we'll be back here on Real Talk uh, most likely tomorrow, but we'll see how we're playing it by ear. Yes. Traveling, so we'll see how it goes. But thank you for spending your time with us. Until the next one, friends, we love y'all and hope you have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs>